So y'all pretty much shut down for the whole winter? We are not. So we are uh, staying open all winter, minus the, the large cabin that we'll turn, move back into for our home. But we'll keep our smaller cabins and our RV sites open all winter. It's the unfortunate part of that is that the state park is you know, a mile away from us is known for uh, trout fishing. Season ends at the end of October. Now there's a catch and release season throughout the winter, so people can still fish. Um, so we'll get, get some traffic, but but a lot of the traffic just shuts down. The, the state park pretty much just shuts down uh, between uh, November 1st and, uh, and the end of February. We're hoping to be creative and come up with some some event type stuff here at our property. And there's some new businesses, uh, you know, that have come into town that are really all about trying to drive more tourist traffic to the area during the uh, winter. So maybe some holiday related events and stuff like that. So hopefully we can probably take a couple years to gain a lot of ground there. But I think, and we had some last, I mean, last year was our first winter being open and we had, we had some traffic, but, um, but I think this year we're really, and we've already had several people this weekend, you know, we were full and, uh, and I know three different people that asked us if we were open, uh, during the winter, that they plan on coming. Cause that's honestly, my opinion, that's when this, our property is the most beautiful is, mm-hmm. uh, in the fall, you know, just, uh, late October into, uh, mid November. It's just so many colors out here. You know, it's just, this is gorgeous. That's my favorite time to hike for the property.